Hey guys. Okay. So this is like one of the most requested videos and I'm really excited to do this. So I'm going to sh be showing you the brushes that I use for uh, swooshes and then also how I do them and just some kind of tips and tricks. So I'm going to first show you the brushes that I've been using lately. Um, if you've been following for a while, you know that I used to use Jerry Q brushes from Amazon, which are these ones and these are actually super awesome too but these new ones that I use I like a little more because it comes with some larger brushes which help get larger swooshes and I've really been loving those so both are great it's just all about personal preference so this is the brand that I've been using lately and these are on Amazon and you can get a direct link by going to my website, which is thoughtfuldots.com and clicking on the tools I use tab. And that will take you directly to my Amazon shop where I have all of um, these products linked. So these are in there. So I typically just use these three, which I will show you are these ones here. And the numbers are kind of confusing, so I'm gonna show you real quick. On the back of the package, it shows the different types. So this is the largest one, and this is the Taclon Rigger number three. So this is the largest brush that comes in this set, and I use this one pretty often. And then the second largest one is this one here and this is the Taclon Rigger number one. So it's a size smaller than the biggest one. And then the other one that I use sometimes is this Taclon liner number one. So those are kind of the three that I use most often. You could use these for some other smaller details, but these are my most used ones. So I'm gonna show you how to do the same shape, but using the small, the medium, and the largest ones so you can see kind of how they are all different. So I'm gonna start with the smallest one. And for swooshes, I recommend, especially for the larger ones, where we'll be using the larger brush, I recommend using some type of large pot that has depth because you really want to like get a lot of paint on your tool on your brush okay so we're gonna start with we're gonna start with the smallest brush they're dirty so i apologize but i use these very often so this is the liner brush number one okay so we're gonna be making our first swoosh and then I'm just rinsing the brush off in between because we're going to do a different color each time so with the smaller brush you don't really need as much paint So about that. And then we're making these ones the same length and you're just getting as close to the last one as possible without touching it. And this is on cardstock, so it's not as smooth as uh, normal when painting on wood. When you're painting on wood, it's a lot smoother, a lot more detailed. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going a little bit shorter. It is a lot harder to do this on cardstock. So this is my least favorite brush to use. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you the differences, but I prefer the bigger brushes. So 
So this is like a shorter brush and I like the bigger ones because it has like a longer swoop. It's kind of hard to explain. The shorter ones are good for like more little details, but I feel like for swooshes, the bigger ones are better. So now we're gonna use the second largest one, which is the Rigger brush. And this is the number one. So for this first swoop, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, so you don't need as much paint. I also feel like there's just more control with the longer brushes. And I also prefer the paint that I use is Deco Art Americana, which is my regular paint. And I feel like it's a really good consistency for swooshes. So just kind of dipping it in. It's not all the way, but getting a good amount of paint on there. And then you just want to push. And then it just naturally gets thinner towards the end. This is so much harder on cardstock, but I feel like this brush is just way more um, accurate than that one there. not really enough space here. I'm just going to kind of Okay, so that's the medium size brush. So for the large one, I'm gonna do some bigger swooshes. So I'm gonna do, so let's see right here, we have one, two, three, four swooshes. So on this one, I'll probably do three just larger ones so that you can kind of see the difference. So a large brush, I like to get it wet before. And you really have to be careful not to accidentally leave these in your water cup because it will bend the end and that ruins the brushes. Okay, so for this first swoosh, we're gonna want it a little smaller, so I'm getting less paint. We're just going right over the top here. Cleaning the brush off. So I really love these brushes because you can pick up, I'll just like show you so much paint they hold so much paint so you can do really nice big swooshes. So again, I mean, you just push, if you want bigger swooshes, you just put more pressure. So you can press and get them nice and thick, or if you want them smaller, just don't put as much pressure. I think the bigger one is probably my favorite. So these all look super similar. It just depends on the look that you're going for. If you want really big, nice swooshes, and I recommend this large brush. And it really, a lot of it comes with practice because this same brush can get a bunch of different sizes, swooshes, depending on how much paint you use and how much pressure you're putting. So I just want to kind of compare and show you how the type of paint that you're using matters. Um, Deco Art is really great. It's a really good consistency. And like I said, you can like really fill this brush up and get some 
nice big swooshes. So see that? And then I also wanted to show you um, this flash paint. So Deco Art gives really great swooshes. And then I just wanted to show you the flash art. It's the texture and consistency of it. It just doesn't pick up as much paint on the brush. So it's going to give you a lot like smaller, thinner swooshes. So even if you're pressing really hard, it's just not, it's not those big, plump, fluffy swooshes like the Deco Art. So paint, texture, and consistency really matters when it comes to doing swooshes. So my favorite is Deco Art. Um, and you can use other paints too. Just know that the texture might give you a different type of swoosh. Okay, I hope that helps. So today I am working with all white and I'm just gonna take you through some of the process of doing more brush strokes. Um, right now I'm using the US Art Supply brush. This is the Taclon brush number one. So it's the uh, medium size. And I'm gonna use this to make some brush strokes outlining this petal here. So I want these to be thicker at the bottom and kind of taper off towards the top. So I'm getting a good amount of paint on my brush. And I'm really going to push down because I want them to be thicker at the bottom and then go up towards the top and also I will just point out that when I'm making these let me get my tool I'm going to make sure that all of the points end on this same guide mark going all the way around and that's kind of how we will keep our um, pattern consistency Pushing down. And then ending on that guide mark there. And we're just gonna do that going all the way around. Now I'm going to be making these cute little dot accents going down the tips of the petal and I'm using the larger end of this blue tool and we're basically just walking the dots. So I want a big dot here at the tip and then we're just walking it down the side of the petal. And again, the first big dot are all gonna be right lined up right below this line going all the way around. So I'm always looking ahead at the guide marks um, to make sure that everything is gonna be lined up and symmetrical. So again, just looking at this guide mark where the tip is and going right here and we'll make sure that our big dot is right in between these two guide marks. And 
And then I'm gonna take the same brush that we used before. And I just looked at the name. It's the Taclon Rigger number one in that set. So we're gonna use that same brush that we used before. And I'm gonna be making another petal swoosh going around. And when you're working with just one color, especially white, you almost want to space things out a little bit more than you normally would. Um, so example, like for the second swoosh, I want it to be really close to this one, but not touching. Like you almost want a little bit of black in between to keep the contrast. You don't want everything blending together, which is really easy when you're working with just one color. And also when I'm doing brush strokes, I'm right-handed. And so I typically like to have whatever pattern or like brush stroke that I'm gonna be doing to the far right. So it's hard to explain because my camera's at an angle, but if I'm sitting straight, I want this pattern that I'm gonna be doing farther to the right hand side. It just is a better angle um, for actually making this swoosh. I don't want it like straight in front of me because it makes it harder. So that is actually pretty thin compared to normal, and I think it's because I don't have enough paint in this pot. It's not getting enough on the brush. So I'm going to fill my pot up. You really need a lot of paint. That's why I recommend having some type of pot that has depth when doing brush strokes because you really want the brush to go deep in there. Like you really want a lot of paint on there. So another difference between the Taclon Rigger number one, which is the smaller one, versus the number three, which is the larger one, I feel like the smaller one gives you a thicker base, but it tapers off to a more of a point, where this one doesn't give you as nice of a point, so there's a difference between these two. And you can see, like I was saying, you want them to be close to each other, but not touching. You don't want them to bleed into each other or this will quickly end up looking just like a big blob of white. So you need that black in between to keep the contrast. And I'm making sure that the tip of each petal is ending on the same guide mark going all the way around. If it's harder for you to eyeball that, you can even get your um, chalk pencil and just make a little mark on this line all the way around so that you're knowing where to end your petal. And when doing this next pattern, the next part of the pattern is actually like building off this one that we just did. So I'm gonna be making some swooshes and they're gonna be going on this line, these ones that are in between each petal, and they're gonna start at the tip of each petal. So this line here. So that's really the importance of guide marks, keeping everything lined up and symmetrical. So all these petals end on this line, and then for this next part, we're gonna start our swoosh on that same line so that it's right 
in line with all of these petals that we just made. So I'm using my large green tool and I'm gonna make a dot and we're gonna drag it down on this guide mark here. And we're gonna bring it down to this guide mark here. And we're gonna do the same all the way around to that guide mark. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna be using the same brush, the Taclon Rigger number one, the medium brush. And I'm going to be making some swooshes and I'm gonna be making them, they're gonna start up here, so this is gonna be the thicker end and it's going to taper downward. So, I'm going, see this guide mark here? I want the swoosh to start on either side. So we're gonna do one that starts on the left side of that line going down and one that starts on the right side. And then I also want to keep them in line with this guide mark here. So we're doing the one to the left of that guide mark. And then one to the right. Again, to the left. And keeping them, the tops all in line with this guide mark so that they're all even all the way around. Okay, I've never done this pattern in all white, so I'm really curious. Like I said before, we want to be really careful that the lines are close to each other but not touching because we don't want it to turn into a big white blob. So um, with this pattern, it has a lot of swooshes right next to each other, so I'm really curious to see how it turns out. So I'm going to do my next um, swoosh. is going to go... It's actually going to start at the same line that this one did. So I'm going to do it right next to it going downward. And I'm going to try to get close to this one without touching it, but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm using the same brush. So these two are the same length. So they both start on that same guide mark. But for this next one, we're gonna do it a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna start it about this guide mark right here. And we'll do that same going all the way around using the same brush. So I'm just kind of looking at this pattern and I can see that I can probably fit two more. So I'm gonna, let's see. Yeah, two is good. So I'm just kind of like looking ahead to see about how many more I can fit. So I'm gonna aim for two and 
using the same brush, I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. So I'm going to start about here and bring it down. So I need a little more paint. I just want that to be thicker. I want these to be nice and thick, so I'm making sure to get a lot of paint. But then also just having a lot of control and being careful because we don't want um, the lines to, we don't want the paint to um, run together. So just going nice and slow. So normally with this pattern, when doing the last swoosh here, it normally is starting and sometimes it will like cover this line or this one. And with the white, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want it to all blend together. So we'll kind of see how it goes. <laughs> um, and for this last swoosh, I like mine to be like right above this point. And it's going to be about the same length as this one. So I'm going to start it here and go inward using the same brush. So I'm trying to leave some space in between these two and some here just to make sure that it keeps a little bit of that definition. So like normally I would have these ones closer together, but I just need a little bit of that black showing through on this. And here is how it looks so far. <laughs> 